Okay, well now we're looking on page seven at number seven, deep breaths. In deep breaths, we have two whole notes that touch each other. So that means we have to use our tongue to begin those notes. We can't just breathe between every note. To use our tongue, we say, do, say do with me. Ready? Do, I'm putting my tongue right behind my top teeth and then moving it down as I say, do, and putting it by my mouth. Do, do, So I'm letting my tongue break the air. On the instrument, it would sound like this. I'm not stopping the air. I'm blowing one time straight through. I'm just using the tongue like you would put your finger over the water hose to break the water. My tongue is breaking the air. So let's try this. Say, do, 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 do. Say that for me. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to put that on the instrument and play that using our first note here on number seven, D. It would sound like this. Do that with me. Ready? Now. So keep practicing using your tongue until you're comfortable with playing each note started with the tongue. Now we're going to go through line seven. First, we're going to finger the notes and say their names. First, we have on the middle line D, which is fourth position, slide just past the sleeve, just past the bell. Then another D, then a whole rest. Then in the th fourth measure, we have an E flat on the third space. The slide, the bar is just even with the bell. Then another E flat, then a whole rest. Then on the fourth line, we have F, where the slide is all the way in, followed by another F. So we're going to play through that with the metronome. You can finger and say, and then back up and play along. Here we go. <laughs> keep backing that up and going through it until you're sure you're starting every note by saying do do and that we're fingering the notes correctly number eight is rhythm time and this is a clapping exercise so we have a new kind of note here these these notes are half notes they look like a whole note except they have a stem on the side of them and instead of getting four counts these half notes only get two so if I clap and count the first two measures for you, it would look like this. One, hold, two, three, hold, four. One, hold, two, three, four. Notice I still pulse the rest so we can feel where the beat is. So the half note gets two beats of sound, and the half rest gets two beats of silence. So clap and count with me through number eight. Here we go. Ready, begin. One, hold, two, three, hold, four. One, hold, two, three, four. One, hold, two, three, hold, four. Hold, notes get four counts. One, hold, two, three, hold, four. One, hold, two, three, four. One, hold, two, three, four. Hold, notes get four counts counts and off. So that's how we clap and count line eight. Now since we've clapped and counted through line eight, now we're going to play through line eight rhythm time. Notice uh, at the number two uh, just above the line it says to play this on the note D. So D is in fourth position. So let's play that D together. <laughs> rhythm time with the half note getting two beats and every note being D. Here we go. One, two, here we go now. Half rest. Now you can back.
back that up and go through it as many times as you need. Remember, the half note looks like a whole note with a stem on it, but instead of getting four counts of sound, the half note only gets two. Okay, we're looking at line nine, half note rock. We're going to say and finger through this before we play it. So pick up your instruments. Let's look at the first notes. First three notes are Ds. These Ds are in fourth position, then a half rest. Then on the third measure, on the third space, we have E-flat, where the slide is even with the bell in third position, followed by another E-flat, followed by, followed by an E-flat whole note. Then in the fifth measure, on the fourth line, we have F, which is in first position, followed by another F, followed by another F, and a half rest. The seventh measure, we have the E-flat in third, bar at the bell, with a rest. And the last measure, D is in fourth position. So let's play through that with the metronome. Here we go. One, two, and now. Half rest. that up and going over it until you can get through that tonguing every note and having no problems getting the, the slide in the right place and getting out the right pitch. This is line 10, sight reading challenge, stepping. Since our notes are starting to move around a little bit more, we're going to start breaking these up into smaller sections. It's much easier to learn something when we work on a small section first. So we're going to look at the first four measures of number 10. We're going to say and finger these together. So let's say and finger together. We have a half note E flat, then a half note D, then a half note E flat, then a half rest, then a half note E flat, half note F, then a whole note E flat. So we're going to play those together now, just those four measures. Here we go. One, two, begin now. <laughs> Okay, now you can keep backing that up until you can go back and forth easily between those notes. Now we're going to look at the last four measures, starting on the fifth measure. So let's say and finger that together. We have E flat half note, followed by a D half note, followed by an E flat half note, followed by an F half note, followed by an E-flat half note, followed by a half rest, and the final measure we have an E-flat whole note. So say and finger that and move that slide quickly between each position until you're comfortable with that movement. Then we can play it. So let's play now. Last four measures. One, two, ready? <sighs> to go all the way through the exercise. Since we've worked it out in small pieces, now it will be much easier to play all the way through. So here we go, playing all the way through the exercise. You can say and finger it a few times, and then back up and play along. Here we go. One, two, and... <laughs> backing that up and going through it until we're comfortable with those slide moving quickly between positions and that we're not having to fumble around to get the right notes. This is line 11, El Camino Mariachi. It's, it is a duet. Um, the duet is when two parts are playing at the same time and play together so that we have two different lines moving together. Now on this, we're going to go over this in four measure sections, but first we're only looking at part A. So let's say and finger the first four measures of part A. Here we go. The first note we have is a half note D, then a half note E flat, then a whole note F, then a half note F, 
half note E flat, half note D, followed by a half rest. So let's play that together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, play four measures. <laughs> Go back and do that as many times as you need. Now let's look at the last four measures. Let's say in finger, measure five, we have a D half note, an F half note, and an E flat half note, followed by a half rest, then an F half note, an E flat half note, and a D whole note. So let's say that, uh, since we've said it, let's play that together now. Here we go. One, two, and. <sighs> on that in two sections, we can put it together and go all the way through. So I'm going to play all the way through this with the metronome. I want you to say in finger a couple times and then back, keep back of the video up and play along several times. Here we go, all the way, letter A. One, two, and... <sighs> this up and going over it, saying and fingering and playing until you can get between those three notes really easily with just using the wrist, not so much arm, more wrist action than elbow action. And the smoother you get it, the easier it's going to be further down the road. Okay, this is number 11, El Camino Mariachi, but this is part B. So we're going to say and finger the first four measures of part B together. Here we go. We have D, hold, E flat, hold, D for a whole note. D hold. E flat hold. F hold. Half rest. So let's play that together. One, two, and now. <laughs> Let's say and finger that. Ready? Here we go. Now, F, hold, D, hold, E flat, hold, half, rest. D, hold, E flat, hold, F, hold, four, four, counts. Okay, now we can play those last four measures. So here we go. One, two, playing now. <laughs> So now we should be ready to go all the way through letter B. So finger through that several times in, in sections, then finger through with me playing the whole line and then keep backing it up and playing with it. Here we go. Letter B. One, two, here we go now. <laughs> B, you can play along with the recording. You can play part B along with the recording of part A or play part A along with the recording of part B and actually play the duet with the recording. So keep going over that until you're comfortable with all the slide positions and know what the notes sound like. Okay, we're looking at the little green box up in the top of page six that shows us our three notes that we're working with. So we're going to review those notes before we go over number 12. So let's look at the first note in that box. It's a D on the third line of the staff. It's in fourth position. Then the second note there is on the third space. It's E flat. It's in third position. 
The third note is on the fourth line. It's in first position. It's F. So let's play those together. Play D now. Play E flat, third position. Ready? Now. And play F, first position. Now. Now that we have those three notes, we want to work on moving back and forth between them. So what I'm going to do is go from D to E flat to F to E flat to D and keep going back and forth. Four, three, one, three, four. Just like this. Try that with me. Ready? Now. We're going to work on moving that slide as quickly as we can from position to position. Let's do that one more time. D, E flat, F, E flat, D. Here we go. Ready? Now. Keep practicing that little sequence until you can move easily between those three notes. This is line 12, cuckoo. We're going to finger this in four measure sections. So let's say and finger the first four measures. We have F, hold, D, hold, F, hold, half, rest. F, hold, E flat, hold, D, hold for four counts. So let's play that now. Just those four measures. Here we go. One, two, here we go now. Half, rest. Now we're, now we're going to look at the last four measures. So let's say and finger the last four. Ready? Say and finger. F, hold, D, hold. F, hold, D, hold. E flat, hold. F, hold, D is a whole note. All right, so let's play that with the metronome. Here we go. Last four measures. One, two, and now. <laughs> Start the metronome. Here we go. Two. Here we go now. Half. Rest. and go over it as many times as you need. This is normally a test line, so you want to do this until you're comfortable with getting a grade for this.